All right. So now you've gone ahead and written your first goals and your journeys. We're going to look at now how to execute these. Now I've actually created a couple of goals here for my e-commerce front end and I've got a website goal as well. Now what I could do in here, if I wanted to just run a single journey and execute that, then I could click into the goal, open my test. Notice that first I should publish this if it is ready to be run. And then by clicking on the three dots here, I could execute or I could just click on the play button here. And by doing that, it will launch an execution. And you can see that here in the journey view, but where we really need to go across to is if we click on the sidebar, we go to the project activity. These are all the jobs basically that we are running. You can filter through them. You can filter out and say, I only want to look at a particular goal and only those with a particular outcome. And you can see here, this is immediately running. So this runs on Virtuoso, where we are launching a headless Chrome browser to be able to run the tests. You can see it's versioned. So you get the version and timestamp here. You can see this is passed and we're capturing again, all things like the screenshots through the tests here. Now note as well that if you see the little indicators here, we're also capturing events. So network requests and console logs for steps where those are performed so that you're actually capturing this additional level of details for your journeys that are executed. Okay, but we'll look a bit more at test reporting in a minute. What we're going to do now though is show that, so I executed that one manually, but if we come to the sidebar, I can also set up an execution plan. So basically this allows me to orchestrate to be able to say which tests I want to run and when. So if I click to create an execution plan, let's give this a name. So let's call this my regression pack. And once I've done that, I can come into my manage plan journeys. I can select and say, I want to pick some journeys from my e-commerce front end goal, click, and I could say, well, maybe I want to use all of them, but if I don't, I could say, I just want to run the second test so I can add that into my plan. And then I could set my second goal, my website goal, and I just want to pick all the journeys there so I could add those in. And you can see now I can start building out my execution plan, including I've got additional parameters here, but I'm just going to leave this set as just to be able to pick from two different goals, selected journeys, and now I'm going to create my plan. And now when I execute that, and when that is completed, I could come into the project activity and you can see that I've run those, all of those journeys. So three of them via the regression pack and I've got all the test results. Now you can also run from pipelines. We're not going to cover that in this video, but you can see these are two ways that you can run and orchestrate to execute your tests. We'll be looking at reporting next.